Hey folks, Mavs Dad here back with another watch review. Today I've got the Citizen Eco Drive Promaster Aqualand 200 meter solar diver, model number BJ2110 01E. Now this is sent to me from the good folks over at Duty Free Island. Uh, you get free worldwide shipping and no tax. They have an excellent selection of Citizen Orient and uh, Seiko watches. I really cannot recommend them highly enough, and I want to thank them so much for sending me this watch to review. Uh, what we'll do is we'll open this thing up, look at the fit and finish, the features and the functions, and then I'll give you my overall review of the Citizen Aqualand. Of course, you get your basic manuals. You have your instruction manual printed in multiple different languages, pretty thick for a dive watch, and of course, your standard warranty card. I don't know why I even show this stuff anymore because y'all know what comes in these boxes. So there you go. So what we'll do is we'll open this thing up. We'll take a look at this Citizen Aqualand. And what I'll do on the left-hand side of the screen is I'll go ahead and put all the basic functions and then we'll go in more into depth about those features and functions. All right, you're looking at a 48 millimeter case, uh, which is a little bit big for me. I'm getting a little bit more used to these larger watch styles. If they're done correctly, I don't mind them. Uh, so 48 millimeters is a little bit big for me. My sweet spot is 40 to 44 millimeters. That's just me personally, uh, but this looks nice. So it's, it's not a big deal. The case has a DLC coating, which is diamond-like coating. Uh, it makes the, the case even harder. Um, and it also has some black ion plating around the bezel, as you can see. Uh, but this case is an absolute tank. I mean, this thing feels like it was carved out of one solid piece of stainless steel. Uh, it's got a nice weight to it. Uh, feels really, really hefty and, and heavy. I like it a lot. Uh, you get a 16 millimeters thick. You have a 22 millimeter polyurethane bracelet, and I'll talk more about that a little bit later. It's 200 meters water resistant, which is 660 feet. You have your depth sensor over here at nine o'clock. Uh, it starts reading the depth at five meters underwater, which is about 15 feet, and you have your water sensor. So once this goes underwater past 15 feet, uh, it automatically goes into dive mode, which is really cool. Uh, it has a mineral crystal. Uh, you're not going to get a sapphire in this watch. You have a 24-hour display over here at 9 o'clock. You can see that sub-dial. Uh, a power reserve indicator, and I'll show you how that works here in just a second. Um, I'm really kind of shocked that this only has a two-month power reserve. Really, really, really shocked. And if you're actually actively diving with it, it only has about a month power reserve. So you definitely want to keep this thing charged up. Uh, it does have insufficient charge warning. The second hand will start jumping every two seconds. That's the sub-dial down here at 6 o'clock. That'll start jumping every two seconds. Uh, it also has overcharge prevention, which all Citizen Eco drives want. You can't overcharge this thing. It'll just stop charging itself once it realizes the cell is full. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it has a chronograph function, which I'll also talk about later. Uh, a date function window at 3 o'clock. And a uh, screw-down crown. Very, very smooth screw-down crown. Really, really like the crown on this watch. Uh, it has a Citizen B740 movement, and it's actually made in Japan. So let's talk some more about some of these other features. Again, built like a tank. I mean, God, this thing just screams of quality build. Nice and heavy. Um, it just feels like there's absolutely no imperfections in the watch at all. I like the overall look of this watch, but it's a pretty busy dial. Um, and with the blue and the white, it can, it can be a little confusing what you're looking at sometimes. Um, the second hand, again, that's at six o'clock. This blue hand is for dive purposes. It shows, it doesn't do any other purpose, but show you battery level and for the dive function and for the chronograph function and the chronograph function. It's really not very useful in my opinion. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll, I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, the depth sensor again, automatically knows when the watch is in water, which is right there. And then, uh, let's take a look at this thing. Let's try it on. I love this bracelet, this polyurethane bracelet. Absolutely love it. It's the most comfortable bracelet I have ever had on my wrist by far. And it's plenty big enough. I mean, it's just, oh man, it feels great. Really, really nice feel to it. A lot of nice wrist presence. Of course, you have your buckle there and your keepers right here. You have two of them. It just feels great on the wrist. I normally prefer stainless steel bracelets, especially when you have a really expensive timepiece. I want to make sure it's secure to the case. The bracelet is secure to the case, but this thing is very, very well done. So I really, really like this bracelet. And I really don't like watches with uh, neoprene or rubber or polyurethane bracelets normally, but Citizen did a great job on this one. 
really cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the loom and I'll cut off the studio light here in just a second. Let's test the loom on this thing real quick. And actually I've tested it a little bit earlier and I was kind of disappointed, man. I mean, compare it again, always compare loom to Seiko Black Monsters uh, and just about any other Seiko dive watch. So here we go. It's not bad, of course, that 60 is real prominent on the bezel, <coughs> excuse me. But it's just, I mean, they're just tiny little markings for the hours. Uh, the hands are real legible. I guess that's the most important part. But uh, everything else is really, really tiny. And just that 60 has a luminescent paint on it. No other numbers around the bezel. So I'm, I'm really disappointed. I'm used to Seiko's Loom. Honestly, I'm used to Seiko's Luma Bright Loom. So I'm a little disappointed with the, uh, with the Loom on this thing. Um, you can get these over at Duty Free Island for $309. They also have a orange face version. I'll put all of those links in the description field for you. Again, can't thank Duty Free Island enough. Uh, free worldwide shipping, no tax, a big, huge selection. Um, really, really great folks to work with. Let's look at the case here. Typical Seiko signed laser etched case. Just gives you some specs about the watch. But man, this case is really, really nice. It just feels so, so well built and solid. Not my favorite dive watch I've reviewed, uh, but definitely far from the worst for sure. Um, and I'm kind of on the fence about it. I like it a little bit. I'm just not crazy about it. Let me show you the, uh, the power function. You press up here at uh, two o'clock. The hand goes to uh, 12 o'clock. And then if you see, you'll see level one, level two. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right where my finger is. You have a blue marking, level two, level one, then another blue marking. If it goes to NG, it means it means a uh, it needs some charge, which this one goes right to. So, and then if you hold it, if you hold right there at four o'clock, it'll actually go into dive mode. You see the twelve o'clock sub dial. It'll. I'm sorry. This this is taking it out of dive mode. With the hand is not lined up perfectly, which bugs me a little bit. But if you press and hold again, that twelve o'clock sub dial will go to dive and that means the watch is in dive mode which it automatically does when you automatically does when you go 15 uh, feet underwater anyway so you can see it go to dive mode so there you go so let's take it out of dive mode go back to regular watch mode and then once you're in watch mode you can engage the um the chronograph function which to me is next to worthless just press it once. This hand starts counting off every, I think it's two or three, five seconds. And then there's an, and then once this goes around once, the 12 o'clock sub dial also indicates, I think the minutes. It's just a very weird chronograph to me. Um, anyway, I'll stop it, go back. Not my favorite chronograph on a watch. Kind of, kind of odd. Anyway, good looking watch, I think, um, overall but just not, not my favorite dive watch I've reviewed. But I love this bracelet. Man, I love, love, love the bracelet. You've got a signed buckle here, ProMaster with the ProMaster logo. logo. Uh, two keepers. This, this bracelet is just really supple, feels great, great on the wrist. I'd like to take this and use it on different watches. Really nice. So if you like this video, please click on like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. And I'll put a little reminder of that in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Like I said, you can't go wrong with Duty Free Island, free worldwide shipping, no tax, huge selection of Seiko Citizen and Orient watches. Uh, just really, really good folks to deal with. They have an excellent rating. So please don't worry about dealing with an overseas watch company. Uh, they really have been really, really good to me and I, I really appreciate it. So again, folks, if you like this, go out there and get one. I, I'll put all the uh, links in the description field. And again, this has been the Citizen EcoDrive ProMaster Aqualand 200-meter solar diver model number BJ2110-01E. All right, folks, until the next review, I'll talk to you all later.